Mm. Andrea, while we've been doling out financial advice, cookbook author Nancy Baggett next to me has been doling out candy instead of cash. Nancy is the author of the All-American Dessert Book, and she's here now. And Nancy, looks good, tastes good, and you're telling me, before we started, pretty easy to do. Pretty easy. I like to make things as well as buy things for the holidays. And so I want something easy. And I'll, I'm going to show you some ideas that are quick and easy, and people either love to get them or eat them when they come to my house. Less than five minutes to do some of these some things. Some of these, yes. Okay. Uh, let's start with the fudge. This is a faux fudge. That's why it's five minutes. Faux means you don't actually boil it. Okay. You use condensed milk instead of having to boil down evaporated milk or cream. And it's called Heavenly Hash Fudge. And I like to have these kinds of bits of information in the book because... Why Heavenly Hash? What's in there? Heavenly Hash, marshmallows. That was early 20th century. Heavenly Hash was marshmallows, cherries, and nuts. And it was a fruit cup. And now we use it whenever that combination. Only I used uh, cranberries instead of cherries. And you Five make, minutes. You make your own marshmallow. It's easy. Oh, yes. You can make your own marshmallows, too. Um, people don't know that. They're so easy. You buy the bag in the store, don't marshmallows, you? Marshmallows? No. No. As a matter of fact, I'm in trouble. you whip it up really easy, corn syrup, a little sugar, and this you whip it up. This is this big dish here. And then you pour it out, and you have to chill it, because you can see it's kind of okay. sticky. So you leave it for about 24 hours, and we'll just put that away, okay. and then we'll show you what happens next. All right. You then you get the whole this thing here. Out, yeah, onto powdered sugar, and this is how you cut them. The best way is a shears. What powdered sugar? Well, same like flour with dough keeps it from sticking. Here you want powdered sugar to keep it from sticking because it is pretty sticky. And you cut them like this. And if you want just a simple marshmallow, all you do is be sure you dip all of the sides in that powdered sugar. Can you, can um, you cook that, toast that, brown it like you would a store Absolutely. Store okay. And this one's peppermint, so I swirled in a little red. And we can dip them. You want to see how to dip them. You want to get get to it? We'll just take one, dip it in there. feel like we're there. doing fondue here. Yeah, well, could be. And there's one little trick to the dipping. Uh-oh, I'm not and doing it. And the little trip. No, you're doing it right. Just toss it around, toss it around. Let me get the spoon out of the way so we can get to it better. Toss it around, and then the only tip is... And this is just plain melted chocolate? Plain melted chocolate with a little oil to make it flow a little better. Okay. And then the only tip is you want to make sure you kind of tip it off. Dip off the side so you don't have a big, what chocolatiers call that, where it drips off the side a foot. It won't hurt anything. Go ahead and go for it. And we're working on foil. The reason we're working on foil is because the foil won't stick. Right. These go right in the refrigerator. Seems and, like an uh, easy you project. You keep them in the refrigerator. Oh, they're really easy and With they're the really good. Really good. Hey, I Even love easier. this. Even easier. These are called bars and jars. You can buy them, but you can make them. This looks like sand art to me. It. it that's the idea. And in here is enough mix that you mix with two eggs and butter, stir it up, make, make it, and then you get a, a set of bars, and a dozen comes, bars. It comes with a set of instructions oh, yes. so that the person so, who gets this knows how to make it into that. Exactly. And you can use regular old canning jars like this if you can find them this time of year. One liter or one quart, you can use a decorative jar that they can use to put the cookies in. or you can actually use a recycled mayo jar if you haven't got right. anything else in your Nancy house. Nancy Baggett, we've run out of time. It's the All-American Dessert Book. Thank Thanks you. for coming in. Thank you. It was fun. All right. We're going to come back and check the seven-day one more time, and we'll see what Wall Street's doing this morning. You're watching 9 News Now.